Hi, my name is Esteban Martinez of the class A33 and today I'm going to do an experiment uh, with different covalent and ionic compounds measuring different chemical variables like melting, melting point, boiling point, electric conductivity and solubility. So the four co compounds that I choose are sugar, salt, vinegar and alcohol. So with the two liquids, uh, there is 30, 30 milliliters in each cup, and in the case of the and in the case of the sugar and the salt that are solids, there is one eighth of cup in each of the cups. Uh, so first, the salt, uh, the sugar, which is with this uh, covalent compound. So uh, the most important characteristics of these compounds is that they have a lower melting and boiling point comparing to the ionic. A compound so because of this is most easy like to measure these chemical variables because it's faster and the temperature is lower uh, also the now the salt which is the only ionic compound that I'm going to use today so the most important characteristic is that uh, the um, the ionic compounds have higher uh, melting and boiling points uh, so the temperature that has to reach to make the boiling point of this is very difficult. It is also important to say that the ionic compounds are very good conductors of electricity. Now the vinegar is also a um, covalent compound, so yes, and the alcohol also a covalent compound, so we can see that the melting point and the boiling point are lower and also they are poor uh, conductors, electricity conductors. Uh, in the case of sugar, uh, what I'm going to measure is the melting point, melt, boiling point, uh, conductivity and solubility in water. So I decided to make four variables for this one because uh, as you can know, as you know, uh, the covalent compounds have le high, uh, low melting and boiling point, so it's going to be more easy. In the case of salt, because they have like a lot of uh, very higher temperatures, I'm just going to measure the conductivity and the solubility. In the case of vinegar, uh, I'm going to measure uh, only three variables, boiling point, electric conductivity and solubility. In this case, I'm not going to measure the melting point because as you can see, this is already a liquid, so it is already in a melting state. Uh, also, the alcohol, I'm just going to measure three of the variables because this is a liquid, so there is not have a melting point. So now we're going to the kitchen with this sugar to put it in a pan with medium fire and let's wait the changes that this sugar makes. So now we're going to see the solubility of one tablespoon of sugar into 30 milliliters of water. So. so now we're going to mix it a little bit. Uh, so here we can see that the salt is dissolving in water forming a homogeneous mixture. Uh, so now uh, we see that the sugar is dissolving in water to make a homogeneous mixture. So then we can see the little particles of sugar mixing it with the water. So here we can see that after a, a few minutes of, of mixing, uh, we can see that in the deep there is a, a little bit of sugar, but uh, this uh, mixture is mixed. So there we can see. So now that we have our solution with sugar and water, uh, we're going to measure the electric conductivity. So from doing that, we have this electric circuit. So this electric circuit uh, is compound by one volt and 
two batteries so these two batteries have two cables one of negative charge and another one of positive charge also this bulb is also connected with two cables one of negative charge and all and two and and another one with positive charge so then in the middle we have two cables that have the same charge so what is going to happen is that if we put these two cables into the solution of sugar and water and the light bulb turns on this means that this compound is a good conductor of electricity so now I'm gonna this. So now for you to see that this circuit actually works, we're going to uh, make two, these two same charge cables together. So we're going to see if this light bulb turns on. So here you can see that the light bulb turns on. So then we're going to do this same procedure, but with the solution of sugar and water. So it's important that the cables uh, never touch each other because this is going to like, have a different result so then in the light bulb you see there is not it's not on and this is because this sugar is a covalent compound and one of the characteristics of these compounds is that they are per conductors of electricity so the next compound that i'll be working on is the salt so in the case of the salt i only choose two variables the solubility and the electric conduction I just choose these two because as you can know, the, one of the characteristics of ionic compounds is that they have higher melting and boiling point. So it is practically impossible to reach the temperatures that these have in home as, with a, as a safe way. Uh, so, uh, for example, the boiling point of salt is 1600 uh, Celsius degrees. So it it's very difficult, very impossible to do this because the temperature is very high and it could be very dangerous. So in this case, I'm going to do the solution of salt with water. So I'm going to take a... So now I'm going to pour a, a tablespoon of salt into water. Now we're going to mix it. Oh, so uh, here we can see as the last compound, we use 30 milliliters of water with one tablespoon of salt. Uh, so we are mixing the, the salt and we see that uh, instead of sugar, this salt is very dissolved and is quick. So we can see that in this, in this case, there is not uh, so much salt in the dip because it forms a homogeneous mixture. Uh, so now okay. I'm going to ch to measure the electric conductivity of salt. So I'm going to put these two cables into the solution of water and salt. So as we can see, um, salt is conductor of of electricity because it's ionic compound. So one of the characteristics of the ionic compound is that they have a lot, uh, they are very good conductors of electricity. Uh, so now I'm going to work with the alcohol and its boiling point. In this case, I'm wearing safety elements because the gas that the alcohol produce could be bad for, for me to inhale. So that's why I'm wearing a mask and gloves. And, and glasses. So here we have 30 milliliters of water <laughs> that we're going to dissolve with a little bit of alcohol. Just one gota. So I'm gonna mix it like this so that the both liquids get mixed. Uh, so we can see that uh, as the both of the compounds are liquid, so it is totally dissolved. Now I'm going to do the electric conductivity proof. So I'm going to put these two cables that have the same charge into the glass. So we see that this 
doesn't turn on the light bulb because it is a covalent compound so it has uh, less electric conductivity so with vinegar we're going to measure a boiling point con electric conductivity and solubility so now we're going to the kitchen to see the boiling point So uh, now we're going to do the vinegar. So here we have 30 milliliters of water and we're going to put a drop of vinegar. Uh, so we're going like to shake it. So here, uh, just as the alcohol, we see that the vinegar is totally dissolving water because the both are liquids. Now, we're going to see the electric conduction con conductivity sorry uh, so we're going to put the two cables in the water so we can see that this vinegar is a good conductor of electricity so this has been our experiment i wish you like it see you